Didn't you mean Salty Skins there? No, I didn't name Sarah. Ah, they're the wrong way around. Oh dear. Then yes. he always keeps us at a. Yeah, he, he makes sure that we are on our on our toes. Yeah. Right. Well, that's the knife round for MCon. So let's see if that's going to uh, make it look or well prove how the rest of the uh, match is going to run. Yeah. Well, the match is starting. We have the pistol round. It is actually MCon Esports on the CT side. And let's see what they can do with it. We see four times armor, one time a kit. And they will have a pretty default setup. They actually do have two players towards the B side where you usually only have one. But due to the nature of the pistol, you sometimes want it. And now we see the push coming out for a probably a split. Yeah, the pistol can always go all sorts of ways. But we see Rylax holding it. And all the players are playing it rather patiently for now. No one's really pushing ahead just yet. There's some slight movement in the corners. But by the looks of it, everyone's sort of holding out. We can see that we've got Kiel cycling around there a little bit, maybe going for a backstab, actually. But we're going to have to see what he does. And, well, he's now looking at Ivy, but the players are actually already chiming in. It's one player at Olaf. It is HR, who's actually called Hertz, but he likes to challenge us. This catch-up now with the first frag onto K. It makes it a 5 on 4, but Hertz is already moving in. Excel is fighting, but is he winning? Yes! It's Berkey, though, with the refrag onto Ryanx. Makes it a 4 on 3. As Emcon Esports still struggling, but already winning against Lewis Revo with yet another one. And the rest of the team just plows through and makes it 1-0 for Emcon Esports. And there we go. Yep, 1-0 for them. That's a good start. Let's see if that's going to carry on. I do want to, you know, I wouldn't want to say that the pistol round means everything, but it is a very deciding match in the beginning. And we can see that Emcon is going for a pretty much largely eco, whereas Salty is forcing that by. Yes, well, let's see. It is a lot of Glocks, which means Teddy can make short work of it with his MP9 is moving up. Hertz is around the corner and will fall straight away. Is it Teddy with two? Teddy with three? No! He's very low and he'll go in and he'll die. It's Berkey making it work. But still a good opener for Amcon. Yep, switched that pistol there because he ran out of ammo. Very unfortunate, but he did manage to get two kills, not to be underestimated. Right, like I say, half the ladder looking up and there's players right above him. Yeah, he's just chilling. He usually plays here. He loves it. And he knows he's safe there as he did not hear the bomb drop over, I believe, but you never know. Yep, and that's Berkey. He, he hops over there and he's very low HP, so Rylax only has to make a minor attack to actually get him there. But he seems to be falling back a little bit. Knows, okay, there's people above that ladder, so I don't want to risk having them drop on me and maybe overtake him after all. Rylax now with two as they drop into the pop dog. Only Malik left. He'll move up with the P250, but he will actually get a kill catch up. How do you mess that one up? And now he's in a one on three. He can't make it work. It's two over Amcon Esports. Excelos again with a frag and get some extra money in yeah. the bag. Excelos finished it off there quite nicely, actually. And yeah, a bit of a shame. We saw Kiel's holding out there for a moment, and he actually did get that nice kill with the P250, if I'm not mistaken, but it wasn't meant to be true. Full AK is on MCON now, and uh, on Salty Skins, my apologies. Whereas on MCON, we still see a sort of mixed loadout. Yeah, a bonus round for them, but Gales has already taken a lot of damage off the nades of MCON. He's on to 54 HP. Now let's see. There is now a smoke setup towards the A side. They will try to flank through Ivy, but so far they're not chiming in. Nope, it looks like, oh, but Rylax goes down there, and it's now a 3v5, a v actually. And we see that there's the refrag, Celos, catch the ball, so goes, tries to go for that double kill, but gets refragged by Bayaz, leaving only Celos, who gets a double there, and hey. it's a 1v2. Berkey, only 3 HP left. Can Excel. he make this work? Celos is the anchor of the A side, is standing in hell and making it work so far. It's only Berkey left, has one minute left on the clock. So he's not too worried just yet, but as he moves into the position, he might actually get a frag. Cells looking the wrong way, but Teddy is still there. The bomb is in front of Berkey. And so is Teddy. He'll make it work. No damage dealt to him. And a clean hatchet to make it a 3-0 yeah. for the side of Anthony Esports. Xilos wasn't paying too much attention there, looking in the exact opposite way. And that gave, well, Berkey a rather easy kill there. But sadly, he couldn't make it through. And we have... Uh, Xilos finishing it off. Teddy finishing it off there, my apologies. Yeah, and now we see an AWP onto Lewis Revo as well. Ketchup still grinding out the MP9, knowing that the economy of salty skins will be ruined. And he can get some extra pocket money for himself. Yeah, we can see on salty skins that they still have a very basic loadout. But 
MCON, yeah, they're running something nicely. And we see an intensive kill, deagle kill here, but Teddy in the meantime actually gets Bayers. Keel's also very heavily tagged. Another hit dealt to Salty Skins here. Yeah, and now they are just fighting their time. Earth actually gets the tag onto Ketchup, but they try to walk out slowly. They will succeed as actually Chaos with a frag on the catch-up. A double refrag comes in though. And it's only hers left. The 1v4. He can't make it work. It's 4 over MKD Esports. But now Salty Skins can buy again. And what will they do with those AKs and possibly an AWP? Yeah, MCON is having a very easy time here so far. Four rounds in their favor, but the loss bonus is also building up for Salty Skins. And as you can see yourself, that four AKs and an AWP. Let's see if they can make their magic happen. Yeah, the scary factor is that Chaos has no head armor, so a headshot from the M4 would actually finish his life. I don't think we'll be too happy about that one as Berkey tagged up slightly by a drop into Pop Dog. But the rest of Salty Skins is slowing it down and hoping to get an opening frag somewhere with those powerful AKs. Yeah. Oh, but we see there actually Chaos, as long as he makes the AWP shots count, it does not matter that he does have doesn't have any head armor. And as we saw there with the kill on Rylax, Kellos still on top of the trains here, green train, and waiting for the rest of Salty Skins to push ahead. Now, he actually pulled some shots there, but didn't manage to hit them. The flash is going down, and the molly is still holding off Salty Skins in the meantime. However, HR is also pulling around and trying to actually hit and force them out of their position. Zellos now with the first rack still in danger though, but as Luz Raver has the angle, he'll get the kill. And Steady now flanking two players, but he's choking. They're still alive, and it's a two on two as Ketchup takes down Malik. Hurts and Bales both low, both out of position and both without the bomb. Can this be the 5-0 for Amcon Esports? They seem to be stronger, they seem to get the kills. It's only Hurts left in the 1v2. And only with 42 HP. He's moving up. Zellos gets the last one with the AWP. It's 5 0 for Emcode Esports. Easy kill for catch up there towards the end, and then that AWP shot, of course, just finished it off. 5 0. It's looking very good for Emcon, for a start at least, and it's going more like you predicted. Their map pick, and it's going well for them. Excel's already 10 to 1. An insane scoreline, which is uh, lovely to see for the young gentleman. Yeah. And he has to perform all the way to the end. This is their map pick of Emcon Esports. Next up will be Cash. And as a possible decider, we'll have to us too. Yes, that is going to be interesting. At least assuming, of course, that MCON Esports doesn't get two matches in a row. Two maps in a row, my apologies, but I'm sure that won't happen. Now it's Malik now trying to harass at Ivy. And what will the rest of the team do? It seems like they're setting up towards a A split, but they can always go B. And maybe B is a good option. They haven't tried it so far, and with a little bit of utility they have, they can actually get in and maybe make it work. Yeah, if they do use that utility well, that is the requirement, and it would be good if they actually switch it around and do go for B instead of forcing A all the time. Xelos is now moving towards Sandwich, dodges the flag, but does not dodge the bullets. It hurts with the frag, but low. Very HP low. on him, and it's a four on four. It is Luis Refo that got the kill onto Chaos, and Rylex spots a player, but it has been spotted himself as well. Very scared for his life now. And it's now the push from Salskins as Luz Revo gets the touchdown with the nade onto Hertz. Unbelievable there, that lovely nade, but of course Hertz only had a very little amount of HP left. And M catch up there in the meantime also gets Malik actually. 2v4. This is starting to look very bad for Salty Skins and Luis Revo with the AWP shot. Bayaz, last man standing. A 1v4, he peeks in, but he will die, and it's 6-0 already for Encon Esports. A demanding lead and even some good pocket money as they're building bank slowly but surely. And Salty Skins back again on a pistol armor, yeah. trying to do some damage, trying to get that bomb plant down. And Chaos sort of saving, maybe to get that AWP, but at the last minute he does decide not to. Yeah, they just have to try and conserve their funds, of course, because 6-0 is starting to look very bad for them, really. But we'll have to see. Maybe they'll turn it around at match point. Who knows? And now in the eco, they seem to go towards the B side. No real utility apart from the flash of Chaos, but they can just run out. It's Teddy holding here with the R gets one fragment. Chokes again on the double spray. Luz Raver with a nade, a double kill oh for him. And makes it into a 4 on 2 again. Luz Raver with the utility, but Bales is close. Gets one. 
but loses his life. It's 7-0 for Emkel Esports, and they're winning so far. That double nade there, oh my lord, undoubtedly by the damage that was dealt there earlier. He may be choked, but he did manage to deal some very critical damage in the beginning. Yeah, and that is how Emcon just takes the lead further and further every time. Good money right now, good guns, and a lot of utility. Yep. Only Xel is actually not having too much, despite being able to be dropped by one of his mates. Yeah, Salty Skins, they're having pretty much gotten all of their funds out. Some minor res like remains of cash over, but not much for them. Let's see if they can actually turn it around this time and get a win on MCOM. It is Chaos trying to check if he can find a player, but so far MCOM knows those angles. He's not willing to chance it at all. Is it still a 5-5? Five five? The nades go in again, and again they deal some damages. Catch up, taking Bayos up to 54 HP. Yep, even through the smoke there, getting that nade, and now he's just holding Ivy very well. The bomb is still towards, well, the start of uh, the mid site, or the A bomb site. So we're going to see, are Salty Skin's going to try and go for A again this time, or are they finally going to turn it around? Seems like they're going to A once again, and it's already Chaos committing with the A to B. The rest of the team can't move out just yet. Rylax should be aware of this, but it's Bales with the frag on the catch-up. Actually gets the man who tagged him with a nade, but it's Rylax with the follow-up A. Four on four right now, and can Rylax get more? No! But Salos had two already, and he gets free. It's only her snap. He gets spotted, but not killed. It's a 1v2 for him. He's spotted by Lewis Rafo, but he can't connect the shot. The nade goes in. Hertz still needs to collect that bomb. 30 seconds left on the clock, but Teddy is making it work for Amcom. Yep, Teddy denies it there with the Org. Interesting, by the way, how the Org just pops up more now. Only a slight price change. 50 more than M4 has made it a lot more interesting, hasn't it? Yeah, I actually expected it to be played way more. But it really needs to suit your style. Xelos loves it, Teddy loves it. But a lot of different players don't really like it. It's yeah. more of a Call of Duty gun, and that's not what we're playing right here. That's true. And it looks like a very heavy B push here from Salty Skins going right through. Oh, and but oh, Lewis Rafe with go. the first frag throws a molly and grabs, grabs the Deagle. See some player cross, but Malak actually not dying to him. It's Rylax helping his mate out, and only Berkey alive in a 1v4. But he got two kills already. It's got Xelos eventually finishing it off. 9-0 for Emcon Esports. And so far, this CT side is pretty clean. Yeah, double kills there on both teams. But sadly, even with the aggressive B push, Emcon was ready and waiting to counter it. It was not allowed by them. And like you say yourself, 9-0 for them. Very tough score. Let's see how this works out for the rest of the map. The double AWP already getting into action. And that is how you lock down CT side. And Colony Sports very confident in their atomic state and right next to the first frag already onto Malek. A force by not really working out at the start, but they can still come back, have some utility and throw it towards A. Also a shame to not see a force by work out. And Kios actually goes down there as well. It's only 3v5 and Salty Skin is once again heavily dented here. Makes it a lot more difficult to pull the round off if you lose two of your team members so early on. And now we see a 5 on 3 day have some precision, but it's Bayos actually getting Celos. A little bit of a choke right there, but Teddy comes in, gets a frag on the Hertz, and that is a really, really nice for Amcon. They yep. want to get that 10th round, and as Rylax takes down Berkey, it's only Bayos left. He sprays, he gets the kill, but still has to face four players. And that's something he can't do. 10 0 already for Amcon Esports, and they're driving it home. I get the impression that Bears is actually playing relatively well, but he just keeps losing the opportunity to shine because every time he is one of the last people standing and he can get those AK frags, but sadly he can't keep them up because if you get overrun by three people and you're on your own, that's very difficult to get through. Sad times. Sad I times. cry every time as we again see the double up for Emcon Esports. The money is now going wild, but Xelis is as well. Unfortunately, he will fall to Bayas. And that's the first entry frag Salty Skins need, but they immediately lose a player, lose ground as two alts are getting frags. But Teddy went a bit too over aggressive. Yep, and that's Berkey. Takes Ooh. actually a double kill. They catch up and Rylax. It's a 2v1 in the favor of Salty Skins for a change, but Lewis does have that AWP, and that can work out very well when he's on his own. He just needs to get them in his scope. And the bomb is down, gets Berkey there. It's a 1v1. Is he going to make the AWP work? And he waits. He's trying, but he's peak. looking the wrong way. It's the first round now for Salty Skins. And they make it work somehow. It's just, I believe, Bayos running in like a madman, getting a frag, and then Berkey eventually stepping it up, getting a double at the start just to open that side up. 
as Emcon Esports now losing ground slightly. Yeah, Bayers once again playing very well there and just pushing in <laughs> aggressively and it's just working out for him. But I also think once Salty Skin's got the bomb down there, things were already looking a lot more positive. Yeah, one of the players of Emcon Esports had a little tech problem that seems to be fixed already. We're just waiting for Salty Skins to collect their thoughts. Ah, yes. Let's hope that the will get stronger in the end. The CT side, of course, still favored on terrain. Yeah. But how much, you never know. No, that's true. But, well, as we've discussed before, there are favors. But I think if you play well, it does not matter how favored the map might be. And I do think, even if it's heavily favored, if the other team gets 15 rounds at the beginning, well, it gets very tough to keep them from getting a single round on the T side. Yeah, Amcon actually losing so much money last round that they opt to not go for a double up setup this time. Lose Ravo, the dedicated opera so far. The catch-up goes back to the M4. No head armor and no defuse kit for him. Yeah, double orgs, by the way. It seems that the org is winning ground here. And on the other team, a very yeah, diverse loadout. Rylax holding on to train here, holding that A-bomb side as well. And it looks like the bomb is towards Ivy. Are they going to try and make a play for A, but reverse it around? Don't come from the front, but come from the back. Well, let's see if it will work. It seems like they want to go for the Beast, but they haven't really tried B. No. That really disappoints me. Usually there's only one CT holding down B, and now Chaos has the kill on to catch up. And what will it mean? Will they go towards the A side? They actually drop the bomb for a little moment. It is Beos running it home towards T spawn and maybe towards B to have a more safe approach. Credit. Or will they go towards A? Credit for that kill there. That was a very small window to get an AWP shot in. So shout, you know, props to Chaos there for pulling that one off. Yeah, he had his coffee, but what is Hurts doing? Teddy holding the angle, getting the free frag. And that makes it a four on four. It seems like Salty Skins is now adapting and going towards the A side, but will it work? Right X is still holding strong. And Lewis Raper with the AWP also coming in. Yep, the equalizer, and we see movement happening here. It looks like they're waiting to get the bomb, but Malik spots Rylas. Wasn't really paying attention there. Gets an easy kill in the corner. Corner Kiel's in the meantime, also grabbing Lewis. And that's Teddy going down. It's a 1v4. Xilos actually has to save here because there's no way that he's going to pull this off. And it looks like it's another round in the hands of Salty Skins for a change. And this is something different entirely. We've yes. seen Emical and Esport sometimes struggling a little bit. But most of the time, they've just been in the driver's seat and drove it home easily. But yeah, now they're see. struggling. Now they're losing rounds and already losing their economy. Meaning that they might do an eco or maybe will go for the force buy. Yeah, money isn't very plentiful on MCON here. And it's the second loss in a row now, if I'm not mistaken. So it's going to be interesting to see how they pull this one off. Maybe they can go for the eco and turn it around. And that's the win for Salty Skins. That makes it 10 to 2. We see Berkey, the only player actually with a positive KD on his side. Whereas at MCON, negative is something not in their vocabulary. <laughs> well, I think they're very glad that that's not in their vocabulary. Never looks good to have a negative one, of course. Well, we do actually see an Eco lose Revo going for the Deagle, knowing that quite often Ecos get close. And the way they lose it is not having a defuse kit. Yeah, it's not to be underestimated how much different that fuse can make. And that's Ooh. Kiosk grabs Lewis Rabo there. Oh my lord. And that is one way to start it off. Chaos has been tagged though. He's still holding the angle, hoping that another play will run in. And it might actually happen. It's Rylax. Probably spawning his shoulder. But no kill coming out. Rylax just wanted to have that defuse kit. Maybe also the Deagle, but it was not there to grab for him. Might Try again as the Molotovs and Smokes are now moving in. Salty Skins trying to fake an A side and maybe going towards B. Oh! Oh, oh, oh wow. A lovely USP headshot there on Kiel's, who I think still wasn't rocking the head armor that time, right? He was actually, but he still got tagged up oh, by Lewis Rayfo. Now the AWP yep. has been picked up by Rylex. They're committing towards the B side. They know what's going on. And Salty Skins will have to move fast. They're not doing so, however, and that means the Amcon might have a stronghold here. Yeah, it looks like they finally listened to you, told us, and actually go for that B-side. But Xilos actually holding it there, but Rylax in the meantime getting the kill. And Teddy with the follow-up makes it a 4 on 2. The players of Salty Skins are now moving back. Not sure what to do, and Amcon is not retreating towards the A-side. 
Making it harder for themselves. Rylex is now moving in with the AWP, is checking the angle, does not get the kill to Deos. And that is very sad. The power weapon for Amcon is now gone. It will be chased down instead. He now also falling to Deos. And round is back in favor of Salty Skins. But what can Ketchup do? Only tag a little bit. Maxellus with one kill, no ammo, and a USP which does not work. 15 HP left on Deos, 19 on Ketchup. And a triple kill already for the Salty Skins member. He can just take it, and does he know it? It seems like Ketchup, with all his knowledge, all his yep. years of experience, get the round. And now it's 11 to 2, Mcom bringing it back. And they're pretty pleased about that one. Very heavy losses on Mcom there, and it's such a shame. Just letting the bomb be defused. If he could have put some pressure on, of course, he couldn't know that Ketchup was so low, but still, it's a relatively... He tried try to mind game like a madman. Yeah, absolutely. Before he, it came to hold him, as Ketchup has some pretty good ears. He's probably playing Counter Strike for years. And now he did get the round as he knew he was going to flank through Pop Dog Chaos. Now holding the angle with the AWP. Louis Ravo picking in a tad later. But already some players moving out. Salty Skins trying to get in, but Rylex with the first kill. Perky down and two players already tacked up. And Teddy getting that kill there as well. And Teddy, a double kill actually on her HR there as well. Hurts. My apologies, but Kiel's in the meantime actually getting the wall bang on Teddy, ending his rampage. But it looks like with that kill from Rylax there as well, Mcon is sort of turning things around again. They've found what they've been doing wrong, and they are going to stop doing it and grab more wins. Yeah, Chaos in a 1v4 with AWP. One minute left on the clock, which is quite decent. But the bomb is stuck on side, and he can't really reach it. He can't even get the kill into Rylax. A lovely headshot right there. It's 12 to 2. We're going into the last round of the first half. And so far, it is the Mcon showdown. Yep. They had a little bit of a struggle. After a while, they tripped, it seemed, but now they're back up and running. Yeah, absolutely. Three kills from Rylax that round. Also very nice. Has to be applauded, I think. And like you say, they were struggling, but now things are going better. That win there with the Diffuse really works out. And we see on Salty Skins, actually, a heavy B rush having used up all their funds. But Teddy denies oh. it absolutely with the double kill. Rylax Teddy going for that. Kill on Bears there as well. Teddy getting a fourth in the meantime and finishing it off with that kill on Kios. The round goes to MCOM. And Legendary it's, Teddy. It's 13 yeah. against two. I think Teddy deserves a very good teddy bear after <laughs> this one. <laughs> yes, He's indeed. done some great work. Really anchoring on the B side where there was no need for an anchor. 18 to 9, which is an insane scoreline. And you saw Xelos going ham in the first round. Yep. Stepped it down a little bit. Was also struggling with those two rounds they lost. Now I think it's really weird that the side of Salty Skin did not really commit towards that B side more. No, often. exactly. Such a shame that they missed that every time. Just not deciding to cycling around to be. Now, funnily enough, it looks like Mcon is actually doing that for a change. And is it going to work out for them? They only need three more rounds here. And we can see Berkey and Hertz there getting two kills. Bomb out. is going down, already making things more difficult. 5 to 3 In the meantime, Teddy goes down as well. Hurts on a bit of a roll here, getting sea loss too. Rylax, only man left. Has a molly in his hands, throws it out. But the bomb defuse has already happened. That's yes, Rylax getting two exit frags though. That's $600. It's something. Yeah. Actually, not the most. I, I got to say there, I was not paying attention to that bomb defuse. Very well played from Salty Skins there. Yeah, they knew they had, they had the upper hand. Yeah, true. They might have lost one player, but they still had three more. If you just commit on one thing and push the rest of your teammates into the position where Rylex would be playing from, there's no way to lose it. And Police Bolt's now doing an eco. They're running towards the B side once again, of course, being aided by the new extra lost money, which uh, they added in the last match. It's Bayos with a nice spray, but not really doing anything. It's Luis Revo getting the frag with the Glock onto Hurts. That makes it into a 5v4. It is Mcon Esports trying to fight this back in, but losing two players in the process. Yep, it looks like Mcon is actually way better at getting that bomb down early. Now we see Malik there also getting catch up, makes it a 2v4, and Lewis is low, and we see Bayos actually making use of that there, getting Lewis as well. Rylax is the only man left. It's a four, and he gets that lovely Deagle headshot there on Kiel. But there we have it. Bayos pushing ahead. Rylax going for the double kill still, but Malik denies it by shooting him in the back, and the bomb Ooh. is going to just be defused, I think. That was in the nick of time. It was a scary one, especially because MKB Sports was on an eco. And you know, you can't really give him that much ground. I really no. think that the 
setup from Soldiskins was not too well. They no. had two players standing there and mainly standing there, not really having the utility ready, not really holding the angles for earning information, so they could rotate and get that bomb plant stop. It's, it's always a shame to see when other team does an eco, but the, the, the winning team, or well, the team with the money, doesn't push it heavily and just lets them get those kills of denting their own economy. Yeah, well, it's catch up slightly tag with the AWP now. And it seems like Anton is slowing it down slightly. Yep, we've got Lulos holding Ivy a little bit, and there's some shots being exchanged. Bayas gets Xelos there in the meantime. But it looks like mm, that B push there, or fake B at least, isn't working out very well. We've got Rylak still firing off those shots, but he's a bit pincered here. There's a first right around oh. the corner. Easy kill for Rylax, it seems. The smoke goes down, but he tries to get out that molly as well. It seems like a bit of a mistake, giving Bayas an easy kill as well. 4v3. It quite, is a 4v3. Emcon is now struggling. They still have the day LBP on catch-up. They still have some better weapons. But the amount of utility isn't too great. The side of Salt Skins also has two defuse kits, which will help them in the long run. But with 45 seconds left on the clock, Emcon has to move. And with the main position of Berkey, Salty Skins might have some information. Well, Salty Skins is actually pretty spread around the map, but it looks like they do have people ready to jump on that B-bomb site if needed. And that is what is going to happen. Ketchup does have the AWP in his hand, so that could work out for him. But the question is, is it? If Malik denies it, and Bayers actually is the one denying it there, gets the double kill, leaving Ketchup as the only man left with the AWP, admittedly. But he has to make it work, and he does. Gets Bayas. But only 14 seconds left. The clock is ticking, and the bomb is not going to go down anymore, I'm afraid. So Ketchup decides, I'm either going to save or get the frags that I can. He's chilling. He's with chilling. AWP waiting as long as he can do, but it is now the round going to Salty Skins. 13 to 5 right now. But they are losing a bit of money every time. They slightly build up a bank. And now the pause comes out. Is it a technical? Is it a tactical? Maybe it is the tactical timeout from MCON to see what's going wrong here. That what, would be so smart. Change? Very smart, always. Never underestimate a tactical timeout. I've seen it happen time and time again, but afterwards, the teams actually do pull off some great things and get the wins that they needed to finish up the match, the map. A lack of utility is very obvious at MCOM Esports. Only one guy with full utility and his Rylax. He's been tagged up by an HE who will now get flash with his Bales with a first track onto Teddy. Who solo runs out of Pop Dog, which is smoked. A tactic really familiar with me, but not really advisable for anyone. No, not really the smartest move there. We can see that Bayer's actually got that entry frag there. Now, in the meantime, Rylax was in an interesting position. He gets killed by Malik. This turns it down to a free, now 2v4. Especially as Malik actually gets Lewis there as well. This leaves only Xelos once again. Difficult. 4v1, I don't see someone pulling it off. Especially not if Hertz aggressively pushes with the MP9 there. And gets the final frag. Why not, right? You want a weapon upgrade. And it's right there for the Absolutely. taking. It's just in the hands of Telos. And there's only oh. one way to get it. Now an eco for MK on the Esports. We see some D-Eagles, some CZs. And a little bit of utility. This might indicate an A take as they have free smokes. Unless yeah. if they're very cheesy and want to go to B. But I don't really think that's likely. No, I don't think so either. But it's always I always find it interesting to see how, how this works out for those teams. If they go for that lesson buy and try to conserve funds, it's good to see it working out. But it's very difficult to pull off, I think. Well, Teddy has already been tagged up slightly. But he's still running strong towards the B side, trying to take it out for his teammates. But he will take a bit more of damage. He will fall back even more. Yep, trying to shoot through the smoke there, but not working out. And the bomb is still holding off for now. But they know, they know there's someone behind that smoke. And they know they need to hold that place very well. They can smell it, but Kegels can also smell a lot with his AWP. He's looking around. But so far, not really spotting anyone lose. Raveho is trying to be dangerous for himself and his enemies. But so far, Chaos has not spotted him. Yep, Lewis Ravo with the Deagle in his hands. Now, don't underestimate a Deagle. It can work out. And some more utility going down here as they seem to fall back a little bit from Ivy. Ooh. Losing their patience, perhaps. 
I think Louis Rave has spotted Kales at the stop sign, but he has moved away, not knowing that Louis Rave was there. Kales now tagged up and will get killed. Rylex running him down, but base with two man spray down. We'll get more. Maybe Louis Rave was running in, gets the frag. And both Teddy and Kales helped him out. It's only Hurst left, a 1v3 for him. As the defuse kit has some utility, but the bomb has been planted. And now the after plan positions will be taken. M. Kalnispor looking strong so far in this eco round. Or would you call it a pistol armor? Yeah, it's, it's a, it is an AK in Hurt's hands, not to be underestimated, but he has to find the opportunity to get the defuse in here, and with three people just waiting to bounce on him. It's not easy, but he does get Teddy there. However, Lewis is ready and waiting, and gets Hurt's there with the exit. Frag. I heard the Rylax uh, sound alarm. The Rylax sound alarm? Yeah, whenever they win a round, which is relatively close, they didn't expect you here. Okay. It's a lovely one, and we've had some uh, more in the battle look scene, but this is uh, probably one of the greatest. Emcon Esports happily picking up those guns after getting the kills close range, which makes it easier for them. But now we see another round. Salty Skins actually gets away with their lives so far. Scales actually getting the frag onto Teddy. As Excellus with the AWP had the better spawn, but not the better aim. Yeah, the first round, the Emcon's won in a while there. And let's see if they can pull it off and continue. And that's Xelos actually gets the kill on Bayes there, equalizing Ooh. it, while Ketchup in the meantime pushes ahead. Malik is the only man holding it here and has to successfully get the lot of them. Yeah, it's a 4 on 3 right now. Amcon has taken the lead once again and is now trying to move out of Popdog. Or are they going back to B? It's a flashbang or two. And maybe Xelos will get the follow up right here. It's Malik very close, knowing that a player is there, hoping he can get a flashbang, but the rest of his team has already moved towards B. It's Malik actually getting the solo frag onto Xelos. And what will Emcon do right now? It is a free on free where Chaos gets the frag. And so far, they're now losing their advantage. They're doubting on what to do. But they've used their utility. They have to move. And Luz Rebo is running in. Malik already rotated. Catch up now. The only man left in a 1v3 gets the first agile. Throws a flashbang and dodges the shot of Chaos. There's 40 seconds left. There is room to work with. But he only has a Molotov. No flashbang and no health. It's another round for Salty Skins. And Emcon is now struggling again. Yep, that AWP on Chaos finished it off there. I think he could have maybe pulled it off, but if he wanted to pull off that win there, he needed to get Chaos. And facing off against an AWP there, 1v1, it's difficult. I, I, I gotta admit in his place, it is difficult to pull off. And well, let's see what this round will bring. It is Emcon the Esports on an Eco again. Last time around it worked out magically. But you can't assume it to work again. It hurts. Spotting some player maybe going by, but has he hurt or seen catch-up? Looking at his movement and Berkey's angle, you would assume so. But Berkey almost got himself caught right there. And Ketchup is just moving up slowly but surely, but there's still a man at Coils in his hurt. He gets one frag, wants to get a second, but he can't. It's Lewis Rafo with the follow-up. Ketchup already moved towards CT, gets Berkey, maybe no. Only a lot of damage, but the bomb goes down to 3v3, and Xelos makes it work once again. Double kill for him already, should be scared of the pre-fire angle. As Chaos has been very strong so far, now he gets the frag, it's a 2 on 2, the flank is coming in from Luz Rebo, but Rylax has the frag onto Berkey, it is only Chaos left, he is being flanked, and Luz Rebo, take your time, but he's missing, oh. and it's Chaos now on the bomb, sticking it as he has the defuse kit, can he get it, it seems like he will, and it's yes. Emcon Esports losing another round, 14-8, and oh my, oh my, what are you doing? I and how are you throwing like this? I can't even believe this. Letting him get that defuse there, such a shame. It's unbelievable. I just, I think that should have been for Emcon there, but still, they didn't do it right, and they lost the round because of it, because of those tactical mistakes. Yeah, well, the flank was all right, but Lewis Rafer forgot that when you jump with the Deagle, roughly yeah. three and a half seconds of your aim is rubbish. Yeah, if Lewis Ravo had gotten the kill of the Deagle somehow, magically, that would have won them the round. That would have made it the match point. Oh, but look at this. Gale's now going close. Gets the frag on the catch-up. And makes it in a 5v4. It's Rylax now being pushed and now being fragged. No problem for Salty Skins. And they're running it back so far. They are still quite a bit behind. And they still have to win this round to build their lead. Or actually diminish the one of Emcon. Yeah, it's Salty Skins is holding up well so far. They've been gathering those wins on the CT side. So the question is, is Emcon going to be able to deny two of them and get it themselves for the map? We you see can always a believe. Always believe, always believe. It is Counter-Strike. It can go millions of ways. But it is a 3v5. It's looking more difficult. And Gilt is watching him. Misses his shot, actually. 
Oh, and now we see Berkey under pressure at Ivy, but so far he has not had real problems. This Gale's actually moving through the smoke. Would you really do that? Yes, he will, and he'll almost get the frags with Teddy. Two players now holding Ivy, a third one at Green's Rain, and that means there's a lot of pressure right here, but Teddy still can get through. Little damage taken, now moves, but there's a player on side, it's Bayos with a frag onto him, making it a 5 on 2, only Xellus left. After this, Raver dies, and he can get one kill, can he get a second? So far he can't, but actually Berkey gives him a 1v1, but Bayos still the anchor, yep. makes it a 14 to 9. He managed to get the double kill, like you said there, but sadly that did not get them around. I think it's it's interesting. Salty Skins has really been pouncing on MCON, and it looks like the CT side is working out for them a lot better. Maybe there is a considerable advantage, like you said. Maybe. Maybe my analysis was right for once, as we now see Bayos just using his default nate, and will he do damage onto Xelos? Well, oh, quite some. 72 HP left for him. As we still see that 5v5, it is a pistol armor slash eco for MCON Esports. So they're trying to save up for another round. But will it be the round? He'll get a map point. It's now Chaos just holding the angle and possibly getting the frag to lose Rafo. Yep, Ketchup rocking that uh, Tech 9, interestingly enough. Recently rebalanced, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. But Xelos has had that first kill from a close playing Berkey. They go very aggressive on the main side, but now it's got Xelos with a no scope. And oh my, oh my, again, the heavy pressure strong, but Xelos gets to a triple kill for him already. And Ketchup says thank you for this AWP. And let's make it another round for us. Xelos now in four. Can he go for the ace? It will yeah, be the one, Nick. And Xelos with five kills. 59. Mkodis was now on map point. And that's how we do it. That was some unbelievable dirty Deagle plays there. I think a 4K with the Deagle. 5K. An ace, actually. Oh, my lord. Now, if he pulls something like this off again, that's it for MCOM. That's all they need. Just one more lucky break. Uh, well, let's see what they can do. 70, uh, 27 frags already for Xelos, but Rylex is ready to get that 16th round. They are moving out towards the A side. The flank is coming in slowly, but it's Rylex with the frag on the case as well. Only Bales left on side. One player in Ivy, but they are struggling. They can't get a kill so far, but what will the man in Popdog do? It is now Malik flying through, but he can only get two, but it's actually two which are very valuable. He's now in the 1v3. Can he ace as well? Can he do what Xelos just did? I don't know. Unbelievable. Mal Malik pulled something off very well, though, with the tactical position backstabbing three out of five of MCON's team members. If he hadn't cycled around there, that may have been the 16th round and the final one. Yes, it is now Malik saying, I have one minute left. I have to get this ace. I'll go flanking through connector. And they're actually not paying attention to this catch-up. You are too smart for this. And he's now dropping down, but still getting a headshot. And that makes it a 1v1. Rylex has to win this to win the map. Or will we go to 15-10? Malik has a strat. He is building the pressure. He's moving around to CT. And he will face Rylex through backline. Now... There's 30 seconds left. Rylax has got oh. the bomb, but no, it's an ace from Malek. Oh, my lord, and the crowd goes wild. Look at that ace. I think Malek got a very easy fourth kill there, and the fifth one just purely because Rylax was slowly moving, but just not paying enough attention. He's just hella smart. Yes. Look at the brains on that guy. He's just moving around, and that is the one French player for Salty Skins. Carrying that round on his back and is now back to a 15-10. Amcon Eastcourt's back on a eco. But they have won pretty much every eco on the T side so far. Yep. So the question is, are they going to win another one? The ecos are always interesting. They can go all sorts of ways. And they do have deagles and tech nines on them. So they are not completely out of luck. Ketchup, the rich man of the group, has bought some tech nines for his mates. But Steady now struggling with hitting his deagle shots. Hertz has been dinged early on, but that did not mean a kill as it was a wall bank. The pressure from Teddy means a rotate towards the B side from quite some players from Salty Skins. And what can MCOM do with this? They're very slow on the execute towards the A side, but will it still have some nice kills? Yes, it's Chaos getting loose Rafo, but Rydex with the immediate answer. A 4 on 3 situation. The bomb is now being planned. They can't stop it. Excellus, he could have hit that. He should have hit that, but he did not, I'm afraid. And the bomb is down at least, but... Celos is messing up his deagle shots a little bit there, and Hurts just pushes him. It's 2v4. The bomb is down. 
Ketchup tries to cycle around, gets some very oh. nice hit. Rylax with the stolen Famas and a double kill. Ketchup pushing around here. Seems like they aren't really very aware of what to do here. It's a pincer. And Bayas oh. pushes ahead. Smooth headshot, but Malik turns it around. 1v1. Ketchup versus Malik. And look at that with the attempt to defuse, but Emcon actually gets it.